हाय फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द गौरव आर्या शो ये हमारी शो का पहला एपिसोड है और इस एपिसोड में हम आपको मिलवाएंगे खास मेहमान से लेकिन उसके पहले हम आपको बता दें शो के बारे में इस शो में हर समय हम आपको फौजियों से मिलवाएंगे अब फौजी है कौन फौजी का मतलब यह नहीं कि जिसने वर्दी पहनी है और जिसने बॉर्डर पर नौकरी करी है फौजी कौन दोस्तों वो डॉक्टर जो ईमानदारी से पेशेंट का इलाज करे वो वकील जो अपने क्लाइंट के हक की बात करे वो आम आदमी जो अपना फर्ज निभाए ये सारे के सारे क्या हैं? दिल से तो फौजी है ना तो ऐसे फौजियों से मैं आपको मिलवाऊंगा इस शो पे हमारे पहले गेस्ट खास मेहमान कर्नल डीपी के पिल्ले शौर्य चक्र सर शो में बहुत बहुत स्वागत है आपका सर थैंक यू गौरव थैंक यू फॉर सर इट्स एन ऑनर एंड प्रिवलेज फॉर मी टू होस्ट यू दिस इज द फर्स्ट एपिसोड सर और सर मैं आपसे शुरुआत में ही एक सवाल दाग देता हूं सर लेट मी शूट ऑफ वन क्वेश्चन सर यू गॉट अ शौर्य चक्र इन मणिपुर सर आपको मणिपुर में एक एक्शन के लिए शौर्य चक्र मिला सर आपने एक ऐसा काम करा जो कहानियां सुनने को नहीं मिलती ऐसी कहानी सुनने को कम मिलती है फौजियों के साथ क्या एसोसिएटेड होता है सर गोली बम बारूद इसको मारा वहां पे एक्शन करा यह अटैक करा आपकी कहानी यूनिक है आपकी कहानी यह है कि सर आपको गोली लगी खून बह रहा था आप जमीन पर पड़े थे बेहोश होने वाले थे और उस वक्त जब हेलीकॉप्टर आपका कैजुअलिटी इवैक्यूएशन करने के लिए आया तो आपके पास दो चॉइसेस थी खुद की जान बचाओ या दो बच्चों की जान बचाओ आपने बोला कि मेरे साथ जो हो सो हो बच्चों की जान बचाओ और यहां से आपकी कहानी शुरू होती है सर मैं चाहूंगा आप हमारे व्यूअर्स को इफ यू कैन जस्ट टेला व्यूअर्स वॉट वॉज दैट स्टोरी वॉट हैपन्ड इन मणिपुर ऑन दैट फेटफुल डे सर पहले बात तो गौरव आई वॉन्ट से ऐसे कहानियाँ सुनने को कम मिलते मगर हो ये जरूरी नहीं है कि नहीं होते हमारे आर्मी में कई स्टोरीज हैं ऐसे जी जो हम लोग को सुनने में नहीं आते कई ऑफिसर्स होते हैं जो या जवान होते हैं जो रॉकेट लॉन्चर इस्तेमाल नहीं करते क्योंकि उस घर में बच्चे होते हैं एंड वो खुद मर जाते हैं मगर वो नो दे विलिंग टू सेक्रीफाइस द लाइफ बट नॉट टू अलाउ सिविलियन और अ चाइल्ड टू डाई जी सो दिस इज समथिंग दैट यू नो विच many people don't realize ji yeah. our army has a very very strong cultural and a moral ethos you know it it and it is something civilizational in us you know ji yeah. so my encounter was like i was told that you know there is a group of insurgents ye kis saal ki baat hai sir kab hua 1994 mein 1994 so the year i passed out from the academy sir okay. <laughs> you, you you were in you were in manipur hunting down these people acha sir theek hai aapko information mili चाहे गोली हो या बम्बारी हो यू है नो वे वेन द कमांडिंग ऑफिसर से दैट आई कैन ट्रस्ट दैट यू विल डू इट यू लोकेट दे so that faith had to be kept it's very important to have faith and keep the faith that somebody has in you yes you know my countrymen have faith in our army and we keep the faith that the countrymen have you know till the last round zaruri hai sir you know it is yes, like sir. when you hear shaitan singh's story or yes sir when you hear it is still the last man last round yes, it is something that inspires all of us bharosa nahi tootna chahiye kehte hai na fauj mein sir bharosa nahi ek bar bharosa toot gaya fir khatam ho gaya fir khatam ho gaya fir wahan ha fir wahan pe that is वो बाइनरी है सर मामला फॉर यू जी आई डिसाइडेड दैट आई हैव टू गो लोकेट सो इट टुक अ लॉन्ग रूट एंड रीच द विलेज वी टुक अ डिटोर एंड वी लैंडेड अप इन द राइट विलेज गॉड्स ग्रेस दैट यू नो वी मच बिफोर सन सनराइज से पहले पहुंच गए थे वहां पे कॉर्डन लगा दिया था हमने एंड लकीली फॉर अस वहां पे यू नो कोई अलर्ट हुआ नहीं था वहां पे कुत्ते वगैरह भौंक नहीं रहे थे तो लोगों को पता नहीं चला था एंड देन आई हैड गॉन टू द चर्च village church is normally at the highest point that i found a young boy who was trying to run away so i caught him and tied him up and told him that you know keep calm and that's the time that bolna mat kisi ko ha hum log aaye hain i just want to tell the viewers ke aisa na ho ke bole ke are us samay young captain pillet tied up a young boy why did he tie him up kyun kisi ko bolna pa advance warning na de de galti se kisi ko and then there was this havaldar madan from aec who yeah. was also part. in fact uh, <laughs> ek aur cheez batana zaruri hai कि हम लोग सब सोचते हैं कि फौज में जो सब सबसे अच्छे डिसिप्लिन लोग होते हैं वो यू नो सबसे अच्छे सोल्जर्स होते हैं वो नहीं हमारे मेरे पेट्रोल में पूरे जितने भी क्वार्टर गार्ड में थे वो लोग थे 
जितने बदमाश और गुंडे होते हैं ना <laughs> तो जो छुट्टी से लेट आए शुरू शुरू में सर पूरी राष्ट्र राइफल्स ऐसे बनी थी इनिशियल डेज इंटायर राष्ट्र राइफल्स वाज क्रिएटेड सच पीपल सर मुझे तो लगता था सारे ने क्वार्टर गार्ड खाली कर दिया आर आर नाउ लेटर ऑन ऑफकोर्स दे गॉट द टॉप पीपल टू गो बट हाँ जी प्लीज कंटेट इज इट इज अ फैक्ट दैट यू नो यू फाइंड द वंस हु आर द यू नो लाइक द मोस्ट डिसिप्लिन पीपल आर नॉट द वंस यू ट्रस्ट दम इन वॉर यू नो लाइक आई वेंट टू एन डी ए गेट टूगेदर ये स्टडे and i met somebody who was removed from the academy for forging us he used to give uh, purchase for people now if you see world war 2 movies aap dekhenge to passport banane ke liye ek hua karta tha na jo bana ke deta tha na kali for passport ho gaya passport jo to main yaad kiya yaar aise aise aadmi hote jo kaam aayenge ladai mein you know talented talented ye talent hona chahiye magar unko nikala gaya tha academy se ki you forged you know medical slips for people wo bana ke deta tha hum sabko medical slips go enjoy you know mm-hmm. enjoy out pass एक आउट पास का पर्ची बना के देते थे सो पो फेलो वाज बट देन आई एम टेलिंग यू दैट द बेस्ट पीपल दैट यू हैव आर द वंस हु हैव अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ यू नो यू हैव टू हैव दैट सेंस ऑफ एडवेंचर सर ये सब सो दैट इज समथिंग सो दिस पेट्रोल वाज फुल ऑफ देम एंड आई हैड दिस गाय ही इट ओपन फायर सो ही अलर्टेड अस सो आई रन जहां पे गोली चला था उस तरफ आई रन टुवर्ड्स द डोर एंड डिडंट आई एंटर्ड द रूम एंड देन आई हैड अ बर्स्ट ऑफ AK47 ऑन मी एंड देन कितनी गोलियां लगी सर आपको आई गॉट फोर बुलेट्स थ्री बर्स्ट एंड वन मोर करेक्टेड हिमसेल्फ देन आई गॉट इट ऑन माय ऑन माय चेस्ट राइट अबव माय नेबल उसने अपनी शिस्ट ठीक करी उसने बोला गलत जगह गोलियां लग रही हैं सो यू गॉट अ बर्स्ट ऑफ थ्री सर एक चेस्ट में लगी आपके तीन मेरे बाजू में तीन बाजू में शोल्डर में एंड सर या अपर आर्म एक छाती पर देन ही थ्रू अ ग्रेनेड देन द डोर केम एंड कवर्ड द बॉडी फॉर मी सो आई गॉट प्रोटेक्टेड उसने ग्रेनेड आपके ऊपर फेंका या ग्रेनेड फटा फटा जो मेरे बॉडी सिंह दरवाजा बीच में आया हां पूरा स्प्लिंटर्स ले लिया दरवाजे ने तो मेन इंपैक्ट वाज टेकन बाय द डोर वरना इट वुड हैव बीन फेटल सर या या द बटरफ्लाई इफेक्ट इट फ्लाइज बिल्कुल सर बिल्कुल बिल्कुल मैं मे इट्स ऑल गुड लक फॉर मी पर्सनली आई थिंक यू नो दिस वी स्पेंड लाइफ टाइम वेटिंग फॉर सच मोमेंट्स इन द आर्मी वी प्रिपेयर फ्रॉम एकेडमी यू नो व्हेन यू गो आई जस्ट कम बैक अगेन आई एम सेइंग येस्टरडे वी हैड अ कमांडेंट फ्रॉम एनडीए और जो कमांडेंट बनता है एनडीए का उसके एक फर्ज मींस ही हैज अ प्रिविलेज कि अपने कोर्स को बुला के गेट टुगेदर करा सकता है तो हमारे आउट ऑफ टर्न एक गेट टुगेदर हुआ था एनडीए में आई वेंट बैक देयर मैं 16 साल नो व्हेन आई वाज 16 इयर्स आई वेंट देयर तो आई वाज ट्राइंग टू रिमेंबर व्हाट इज इट दैट इंस्पायर्ड मी एंड व्हेन आई रीड दोस स्टोरीज हार्ट ऑफ रिमेंबरेंस यू वेंट यू सॉ द स्टोरीज ऑफ सलारिया नो एंड गुरबचन सिंह सलारिया परमवीर चक्रा और अरुण खेत्रपाल दिस आर थिंग्स दैट रियली इंस्पायर्ड अस स्टोरीज ऑफ वैल करेज एंड यू नो वी ऑलवेज वांट टू बी ललट नोबडी वांट्स टू जॉइन द आर्मी टू बिकम अ जनरल और व्हाट दे वांट टू हैव हीरोइक स्टोरीज यू नो इट्स फ्रॉम माय चाइल्डहुड वी बीन रीडिंग दोस काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स यू रीड अबाउट अभिमन्यु हु न्यू हाउ टू ब्रेक द चक्र व्यू एंड यू लर्न अबाउट द राइट कंडक्ट बिकॉज़ इवन टुडे आज भी हम याद करते हैं कि अभिमन्यु पे जो हुआ था गलत हुआ था वो हम कहते हैं उसको घेर के मारा नहीं आता था बिल्कुल घेर के मारा so that is something that we always remember no that oh. it even the elders are faulted for that that they you know took up arms against a person who was without arms he was disarmed he was a young boy yes sir so ashwatthama is roaming around for killing you know uh, young children and everything so it's remembered it is something immoral unethical there's something that is culturally taught us in our in our army acha sir main aapko beech mein interrupt karunga sir ye aapne to bataya ki ye nda mein jo sikhaya tha yahan pe aapko चार गोलियां लगी सर तीन हाथ में एक छाती पे ग्रेनेड फटा ठीक है ऊपर वाले की कृपा है सर कि यू गॉट सेव्ड बिकॉज बीच में दरवाजा आ गया तो स्प्लिंटर विल पर शायद आपके पैर में भी लगा था सर यू आर सिग्निफिकेंट इंजरी हाथ हाथ में हाथ में लगा था अच्छा सर मैं आपसे ये जानना चाहता हूँ कि आ, आप जमीन पर गिरे हैं जाहिर सी बात है ब्लड लॉस है एंड योर सब यूनिट ऑफ द प्लटून दैट यू वे विथ और वॉट एवर नंबर ऑफ मैन यू वे विथ सर दे कॉल फॉर कैज एवैक् सर कैजुअलिटी वैक्शन इंडियन आर्मी सेंड द हेलीकॉप्टर कि वहां पर यंग कैप्टन पिल्ले इज लाइंग देर ऑन द ग्राउंड ही इज इंजर्ड नो बडी नोज द एक्सटेंट ऑफ द इंजरीज क्योंकि सर किसी को भी बोलो चार गोली लगी बगल में ग्रेनेड फटाए तो वॉट इज इट टू इमेजिन सर वो सोचेगा क्या वो तो यही सोचेगा ना कि भाई प्लीज सेव इज लाइफ जाओ भेजो चॉपर इंडियन आर्मी चॉपर भेजती है उसके बाद क्या स्टोरी हो गई सर पहले बात तो मैं गिरा नहीं था एक चीज याद रखना चाहिए कि बचपन से मैंने सीखा था कि बाजू आपके ताक नो बाजू में नहीं होता ताकत वो इन दोनों के बीच में होता है जो आप अगर दिमाग में आप सोच ले कि हम हार गए तो खत्म हो गया तो आई एव नॉट फॉलोन आई गॉट पिक्चर्स ऑफ मी स्टैंडिंग विद दो फोर बुलेट्स स्माइलिंग सो यू नो यू डेंट फॉल आई डेंट फॉल आई नेवर फेल इट्स इन योर माइंड इट्स इन योर माइंड दैट यू गिव अप कई बार तो लो
you know, shocks him, you know, they die because of fear, shock and everything. I think the most important thing is to believe that, you know, you have a mission at hand. And that mission keeps you going. I always knew that my mission, I couldn't just collapse. My CEO told me that I have to, now that I've reached there, I can't just abandon the mission. So you fight through the end. It's, so the blood loss and all, these are all things that you can control, your mind can control. You have heard of, you know, Hanumantapa who survived for 10 days. In yes, sir. Kachin. How did he survive? It is that willpower. It is that, uh, you know. And uh, even when I got shot, I wasn't crying or in pain. I'm smiling with them because, you know, you read in Mahabharata that when, you know, Arjuna's arrows pierced Bhishma, he smiled back at him. You, know, you always grew up with those kind of heroic heroism. You know, when you look at somebody who uh, are proud of being a warrior, there is a cultural thing. So uh, this, uh, I had to give a mission accomplished report to my commanding officer. So I decided, uh, though the encounter went on for some time, thoda time chala, then uh, when the helicopter had not taken off because we not uh, secured the area. You can't helicopter can't land until the mission is accomplished. No, until yes, you neutralize them because you never know. Koi goli bari chal jaye fir. So that's why. So this. Uh, Towards the end, when I was beginning to get a bit giddy and weak, I told them we had a rocket launcher. So I said, I'm going to use a rocket launcher. And I had that very light fire, which I used to burn a haystack. So, so that fire and then the threat of that, everything added to the confusion. So those people surrendered. And those two young children came out first, who were wounded. And when I saw those children, one thing Unko that cross came... Mein goli de, the ko, sir? Ko cross fire? Sir, we were going to cross Because we were going to cross fire. It is... But I'll obvious that they won't have fired at them. We fired into their house. So you did not know that there were Yeah, and there si yeah, So it was not. So I don't know whether you know there's any way I could make. We were in an insurgency operation. We were never amongst enemies. We were amongst our own people. Ji. You know, and our competition was not with the children at all. You know, they teach us this uh, that. It is fight between equals. So the men bearing arms and there, it is like a boxing bout, you know, red versus blue. It has wow. nothing to do with the, so it was, the fight was with him. So there was the children who I wounded and I could only imagine themselves as my own, you know, like back home in my own hometown, if there was a fight, would I have liked to hear that, you know, my niece or nephew was killed or whatever in a cross, but I couldn't have, you know, I don't think. And that is something that is there in our, uh, you know, we respect every form of life as equal. You know, when you read about Yudhishthira reaching the gates of heaven and t him being told that now you can enter or leave your dog behind, you know, the one who accompanied him after his brothers had died. But what does he say? He says, hey, if we can't come, you know, then you respect every type of human life. No, I refuse life. to enter heaven. Yeah, I refuse. So it's something that is, you grow up with that kind of a thing where you respect all forms of life. All Jee. These are human beings. These are our children, you know, very cute, beautiful children. So for me, I immediately thought that if anyone deserved to live, it was those children. So they, they what did you say to the pilot? I told the CEO that I said that. So my CEO said, don't play Mother Teresa. <laughs> and he said, uh, then he asked the pilot, can you evacuate him? Yeah. And he says, yeah, but uh, he says, then if it's his dying wish, fulfill it. And uh, my CEO was a great man, Brigadier Nautial. You know, anyone else would have refused to fulfill that thing. He would have said that civilians are not allowed. He requested that these children be evacuated. He asked the pilot. The pilot was his course mate. And he says, just do this. And he did it. In the army, it happens. Course yeah. mates carry ah, a lot course of mates were तो बोला कि उस जमाने में जो कैप्टन पिल्ले थे यूर कैप्टन देन की कैप्टन पिल्ले की डाइंग विश है सो ही टोल्ड दी Chopper pilot who was his coastmate, sir. Yeah. The CEO ke coastmate. Te. Ye, ye sir. Mein ho sakta hai, sir. <laughs> this can only happen in the Indian Army. And of course, coastmates ke liye to, sir, you change everything. No, but my CEO told me, hang on, Pele. Hmm. We'll do it. You know, and you hold on. Can you hold on? He asked me. Yes. I said, definitely, sir. I'll hold on. You this is your order, I'll hang on. Don't worry, I won't cop it. <laughs> so <laughs> you know, nice that Brigade Nautial was an outstanding commanding also. Yes. Sir. I'll tell you one one thing more greater than this. What I ever feel, this thing is that, you know, my battalion is one of the bloodiest battalions. In, in 71 war, we got three embassies in the Battle of Hilly. 
does, you know, we captured it's wow. a one-on-one, -on -one, like uh, a yes, battalion sir. against a battalion. He did exceedingly well. So hmm. before I, because the Northeast was the back of beyond for us, that time in 90s, Kashmir was a foreground, no, Kashmir, that 1992, that kidnapping happened, then the foreign terrorism, so everyone was focused on Kashmir. So Nagaland, Manipur, that insurgency has been going on from 1958 onwards, so it is back of the beyond. like. It. But my commanding officer, before vacating command, he wrote a letter, which is something which is, I think that is where the character of a person comes out. He wrote a letter to the army commander and to the, you know, uh, uh, everyone up the chain, that uh, while every officer and men in my battalion is expected to be brave, you know, bravery is our way of life. But what the officer did beyond the encounter is something which is really, uh, I wanted to take, uh, you know, bring to the thing. He's not even been found worthy of an award, a commendation card. So before I vacate command, I want to explain to my men the standards of gallantry in our army so that we may aspire to be recognized by army, which is something which nobody does that. Yes, sir. Anyone will say, okay, I'm sorry, Pele, I tried my best. Mm -hmm. But somebody who puts, like, it's questioning the Old system. Old-time soldier, sir. Old-time soldier. Old-time soldier. If you read his letter oh, to my oh, father, oh, which he wrote, which oh, is something that is, uh, you know, where he told that uh, what he did, he owes it to the values. Any father would feel proud to read that letter, which he wrote, you know. When you see movies like Saving Private Ryan and all that, and we all feel bad, oh, we have got such soldiers in our country also. Sure. Such uh, commanding officers who take decisions, who who stand by, and he didn't owe it to me. I, I was from four guards, you know. Sure. I come from four guards on a cross attachment. Sure. I wanted to serve in, my father served in, nine, oh, this is also something very interesting. Sure. In 1958, when the Armed Forces Special Powers Act was first invoked, my father served exactly in the same village where this encounter took place. And what is the name of the village, sir? Longdi Pabram. Longdi Pabram, yeah, sir. Yeah, I have. In fact, I went to uh, that will, uh, second guards, which is there in 1958. We went to Isar now. We went to the battalion records and I found that Major, uh, Second Lieutenant AVD Pillay, along with Major Sumana and others, were cordoned off that area and that village and all. It's something I can show you. It's so, I took snapshots of that uh, record of service, that diary, digest of service. Ji. Achha, sir, uh, Mick, uh, I, I, I just wanted to ask you, so chopper roadta hai, sir. Bachchon ko le jata hai. Then chopper comes back for you, sir. Yeah. Then it takes you. And I jo kahani suni hai, sir. If I remember correctly, meri pehle bhi aap se is mamle mein baat hui thi. I think the village did not know that you were alive. Yeah, they thought Unko ye nahi pata tha ki jis uh, Captain Pille ne itna bada kaam kara hai aur uh, ye sab jo kara hai Captain Pille ne wo zinda hai, zinda nahi hai. Unko nahi pata tha. Kai saalon ke baad, after many, many years, ek petrol gaya usi gaon mein, sir, army ka. Yeah. Wo ali story batai hai, sir, kya ho gaya? So, there was this uh, Brigadier NJ George who had become the commander in 44 Brigade there. Sir. Sure. And he sent a patrol saying that, you know, just check out Longdi Pabram village, how it is and what it is. So he went there and then they found the, they had made a small memorial. <laughs> so then he said, call the village headman. <laughs> they made a memorial for <laughs> you, sir. Yeah, yeah. Because they thought that you had gone, sir. Yeah, he said that he died so that this village may. You know, which is something, you know, what, what, uh, I think even for me personally, I owe a lot of gratitude to the villagers also. Sure. Many good deeds, many people get and forget. You know? yes, sir. But this village has nourished and cherished that value of that act that was done, sir. which is something which you have to really admire about those people. You know? yes, sir. It is something that, that just shows that how we are all alike in the same way. Yes, sir. They remembered that good deed, they nourished it and cherished it and they, you know, and they remembered me, me for whatever, you know, that with a lot of love and affection. And the brigade commander would have been shocked, sir? No, he said, come, I'll make memorial you Memorial? Where is he? He's alive uh, and kicking? He said, "Aajao, unke boot se baat karate." Then anyway, the captain village ke boot se baat karate. Yeah. Then the village headman was very, very excited to hear. He says, "You have to come back. Sure. We all remember that what you did for us." And uh, I went back there. It was like a homecoming for me. Sure. Personally, like going and meeting, उधर सबसे मिलना उन बच्चों से मिलना जो you know, that boy who was wounded had grown up to be a young boy. There was no way he would have survived. Because walking down is impossible to walk Haan, down. So one village, sir, yeah. in, in Six one hours. corner of Northeast, sir, yeah. Chai oh, Ladka, ladki, dono bachna yeah. nahi tha, sir. Had it not been for the chopper. Yeah. Phir aap dono se mile, sir? Sab se mila, pe pure tha. There was, Chonka was there from Brigade of Guards only. He was commanding Assam Rifles there. Brigade, Colonel Chonka, now Brigadier. So, I remember what he said, sums up the feeling of every good soldier. Sure. You know, every soldier would 
लाइक टू बी रिमेम्बर्ड एज अ सेवियर नॉट अ किलर सर ये कहानी हो जाती है मीडिया में आ जाता है कि कर्नल पिल्ले गांव में गए आर्टिकल वार्टिकल दुनिया भर के छप जाते हैं सर एंटर मिस्टर नितिन गडकरी ये नितिन गडकरी जी की क्या स्टोरी है सर देर वॉज दिस रोड विच यू वॉन्टेड द विलेज इवन टूडे मेनी ईयर्स लेटर इज ऑल्सो द सेम यू नो द रोड आर वेरी बैड मणिपुर रोड आर वेरी बैड you know firstly insurgency secondly you know the kind of thing so the villagers wanted a road so the joshi made one bulldozer so but that happened then we got a small little highway a small small state highway when the bro was supposed to made from tamenglong to longdi pabram and uh, the road was but they got stuck in that environmental clearance because there's a small reserve forest and everything so uh, i'd sought an appointment with the minister honorable minister and so he was told that you can't make a road between the in the state so the simple thing he found a solution mr vibhav dange was the you know who's uh, his uh, that time he was the ps and ps to mr it, gadkari sir gadkari so right. he says so the best way would be to just add 10 kilometers and into nagaland make it into a national highway so <laughs> when two states are connected so there is this stemming long to perin perin is in nagaland nagaland sir it's like 10 kilometers into that area so sure. the order was issued for a road via longdi pabram 1994 se ye abhi sir 2023 ho gaya 2023 aur ladai abhi tak jari hai sir ladai nahi the struggle not ladai as in ladai sir struggle in the sense ki for justice for goodness achhai ki jeet जो उन्नीस सौ चौरासी में उन्नीस सौ चौरानबे में माफ कीजिएगा जो आपने करा था वो भी तो अच्छा ही की जीत थी सर दैट वॉज नॉट अ काइनेटिक एक्शन सर आम क्लासिकली काइनेटिक और ठीक है उसमें फायरिंग हुई और आपने मिनी फ्लैर मारा उसमें बोला रॉकेट मारना ये सब वो ठीक है सर बट इन दी एंड इट विल बी रिमेंबर्ड नॉट एज अ काइनेटिक एक्शन सर इट विल बी रिमेंबर्ड एज जिसको कहता है ना हाइस्ट इथॉस एंड वैल्यूज ऑफ द इंडियन आर्मी जो हम सोचते हैं कि भारतीय सेना मैं अक्सर ये कहता हूँ सर इट्स अ मॉरल आर्मी The Indian Army is a moral army, sir. Our power, our morality, our power. It's it's not in the Bofors and the Rafales and the uh, Vikrant, sir. It is in the heart of every soldier, every sailor, every seaman, sir. That power comes from there, sir. Our. So, that is still going on. That road, which is going to reach the villages, sir. We, sir, all the viewers, sir, we pray that the villages finally get a road, sir. And this is going to be going on, sir. I have one more question for you, 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 sir. सवाल पूछूंगा सर ये कि ये मुझे इसका आंसर पता है क्योंकि मैं आपसे दस बार बात कर चुका हूं सर बट फॉर व्यूअर्स सर आई वांट टू नो ये जज्बा आया कहां से सर कुछ लोगों ने ये भी बताया है कि आप जब आप फेंट होने वाले थे जब आप बेहोश होने वाले थे बिकॉज ऑफ ब्लड लॉस चार गोलियां लगी सर ट्रिमेंडस ब्लड लॉस ग्रेनेट फटाए कहीं ना कहीं सर यू टोल्ड योर ट्रूप्स दट यार कोई गांव वालों पर कोई गलत काम मत करना बिकॉज दिस इज अंडर दिस विलेज इज अंडर माई प्रोटेक्शन ऐसी बात हुई थी सर लीडर्स थिंग इज टू टेल दैम वट आर द मॉरल यू नो एंड वन थिंग दैट वी ऑल टेक एन ओथ टू इन आर कंट्री इज टू द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ऑफ इंडिया इन आर पासिंग आउट परेड वट आर द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ऑफ आर कंट्री गारंटी इट सीज द इक्वालिटी ऑफ एवरी वन यू नो वी आर ऑल इक्वल दर इज नो फेथ विच इज सुपीरियर दर इज नो कलर दैट इज सुपीरियर दर इज नो लैंग्वेज दैट इज सुपीरियर i think that what is taught to us and it is not because of this constitution it comes from 5000 years ago you know its constitution is just it embodies in the yeah, constitution body there yeah. whatever it's there it is but the fact is that you see the moral equivalence of everyone our stories are mythologies are legends are uh, purana everything is full of such stories we done that in 1971 uh, we sent back 93000 prisoners you think If ninety-three thousand prisoners were with Pakistan, they would have allowed us to. Not at all, sir. Not at all. We, Not at so all. So, did we do it or did we do the right thing? What is as per the conventions? Hmm. We evacuated all of them back to Pakistan. And not just conventions. Convention to one thing, sir. It is a different thing. According to our culture, which is our sanskar, is our sanskar. In accordance with our sanskar, it was fine. They did it. Their fifty-three people who are in their custody never came back. Sir, you know the missing Indians have not come back to us, even though. there have been organizations and people like the icrc also reported that there were uh, indians in the prison you know they haven't come back so they have lived as per their ethos where they justify violence and what is 71 war about if you look at it like why is india india and in 71 we got two countries created pakistan on the basis of religion 
Now, was Bangladesh less Muslim than the Pakistanis at that no. place? But what did they do? They recognized the superiority of the Punjabi, Muslim, the you know, Urdu speaking guys and the culture was superior. That's why they treated them shabbily. And I think it's very strange that Pakistan had never had Kashmir in their hands. If they wanted to say that we should take it back, then Bangladesh should take it back. Right? Oh, Kashmir was never their side. Sir. But the fact is they, they obsess over something which is never theirs. Sir. But something that was theirs and they lost, they never, you know, they never covet that. Sir. They never valued. Uh, so it's interesting that our country, wherever we are today, our strength is that we've always uh, respected all cultures. That's why you find India has never, the, you know, the battle may have started in 50s. We were a poor country. Today, there's a recognition that we want to be part of the Indian mainstream. There's a lot of respect for India, not only here. I was in Iraq, Syria, and Yemen as a military advisor. The amount of respect that Indians generate, you know, the sure. kind of uh, respect, just being, they all know the kind of... Uh, people you know, we are, sir. By people we are, the kind of progress we made sure. from a country that fought slavery and we came out of colonialism. Today, yeah. we sure. are in the top five economies of the world. Yeah. Today, we are... Today, our neutrality is recognized, non-alignment that we had practiced, where we don't take side. Sir. You know, that is something that is celebrated. Absolutely. Sir, we have a lot of thanks Such a wonderful talk, sir. Friends, uh, uh, Colonel D.P. and Shaurya Chakra, we have talked about some things. And we have learned some things. I always say this, I'm saying this for a few years. And I don't think there is any better example than Colonel D.P. and Shaurya to my mind. When I say that the Indian Army is not just a powerful army, uh, it is also a moral army. We are not strong because we have weapons. We are strong because we are right. The morality, the ethic of Bharatiya Sena, is the Bharatiya Sena. The goal of the show is to see you very much. I'll take another episode of the next week. I'll take another episode with another hero. You'll be very fun. Wait for our new episode. From your side and from your side. In the studio, Colonel D.P.K. Pillay, a very big Jai Hind. Jai Hind. Thank you. Thank you.